The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing as under of the soul and spirit and of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Sa dili pa kita magpadayon sa pagtuon sa pulong sa Diyos ni Ining Adlawa, bilingual kining atong pagtuon uh, sa pulong sa Diyos ni Adlawa o uh, actually ang uh, uluhan sa atong pagatunan karon mao ang faith pagtuo og uh, sa grigong pulong pistiuo okay una sa tanan sa di pagyudtamo tukbil ni ini uh, gikinangla nang atong pagsusi sa atong tagsatag sa kakalag kun na baba kitay mga sala sala sa una una sala sa dila og sala nga makita sala sa buhat kining mao mga sala nga atong nabuhat ning adlaw mahimo lamang babang sa atong pagtuon sa pulong sa Diyos. So, God mandates believers to uh, rebound, meaning to name, acknowledge, and admit nga itong nabuhat kining maong mga sala ni Adawa aron kini papason. Therefore, atong gamito ng prinsipyo sa uno huwan, uno noibi nga nagkanayon sa in English. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Nawalang kanimo nga dili pa magtutuo ang imong buhaton mo ang paggamit niya ng imong kabubuton. The positive pull of your volition to believe in Christ as your Lord and Savior. Ano ni ka makasal mo to sabi nga itong pagkabuhatong pagtuon sa Pulong sa Diyos. Acts 16.31 says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Therefore, sa hilom mag-ampota. Bala na mo nga Diyos, nagkapasalamat kami kanyang muna ining layon sa gayon sa among pagpahimulos na ni mong grasya. Ang imong kamaturan, ang imong pagatunan, pinagi sa paghahom ka na mo sa Espiritu Santo. Pag uh, uh, tultol ka na mo, pag ka na mo, pag uh, pasabot ka na mo sa imong kamaturan. Kay dili kami magkasabot kung wala ang Espiritu Santo. Pinagis siyang ministry. Teaching ministry of God, the Holy Spirit. Salamat ni ini nga mong pagpadayon sa pagtuon sa mong pulong. Inaot nga. Uh, imo kami giyahan ni ning tanan nga mong pagatunan karon. Salamat nga imo pa kami ipabuhi ang tunay gayon na. Hintanan na among ipasalamatan sa ngala ni Ginoong Iso Kristo. Amen. Well, welcome once again to our subscribers and fellow believers. Kumusta ka mong tanan o ginaot nga na musmayong panglawas. So, uh, unas tanan nga ang atong giduputan karon mo kining pagtuon bahin sa pagtuo. Faith. Okay, unas tanan. Inom duman na ito ingon ng mga magtutuo. Now, this is addressed to our fellow believers nga. The benefits that uh, we have received from God when we uh, made the most important decision in our entire life. Ng mga magtutuo kang ginoon sa Kristo ingon nga itong personal nga manluluwas mga kinayang hitabo. Gidugtong kita, giusa kita kang Kristo hangtod sa hangtod. Pinagi sa pagbautismo ka nato sa Espiritu Santo. 
Ang atong pagnawat sa kapatan ka mga butang irrevocable dili na mabakwi. Kita na matarong na. We have been justified. Kita gisuluban na sa pagkamatarong sa Diyos. O gihataga na kita sa kinabuhing dayon. Ang atungan gisuat na dito sa Lamb's Book of Eternal Life. Kita na himo ng anak sa Diyos na himong Sakop sa harianong panimalay sa Diyos, Royal Family of God, na himutang magtutuo, Kristohanon, na nga tao na pag-usab. Ang atong appointment with judgment is cancelled o kita gilukat sa bililhong dugo ni Ginoong Heso Kristo. Well, this is just to remind us that these are things that we received at the point of salvation. Okay. Now, ang tutakaroon sa atong leksyon o atong uh, pagtulunan, ang uh, mga bersikulo sa libro sa mga Hebrewanon, the book of Hebrews, kining maong basahon has long been written. This book was written even long before the final chapter of our Lord Jesus Christ's public ministry, din ni Kalibutana. Now, kining maong basahon, or the contents of this particular book, had all been revealed by God long before. It even took many centuries upon centuries in order for man pinagi sa iyang tawahan ng mga pangunauna in his human viewpoint to discover this truth deas bersikulo 3 so you can see here unsa ka gamhanan di ay sa pulong sa Dios hear how powerful indeed is the word of god for indeed it is true nga ang tanang nga butang ni ining kalibutana Gibuhat kini out of things unseen. Now, they were made out of things unseen or things which do not appear. Now, do you know what I mean? Now, so let's read again verse 3. Niining maong basahon, nagkanayon. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God. Now, kini pag uh, uh, illustration kini nga kining maong basahon uh, bahin sa mga Hebrewan the book of Hebrews I mean is showing with regards to faith pagtuo so basaha ka ng bersikulo 4 o bersikulo 5 and then add to dayon sa bersikulo 7 paminaw all of these examples From Abel to Enoch to Noah to Abraham. This is talking about a very significant example related to the subject of faith. Now, kininigay his got bahin sa puruhan, sa in English, potential. And when that potential is converted into hope, then that is going to carry you through ngadto sa spiritual maturity. Ang imong uh, paglaom, kay ang binisaya sa hope, paglaom man, ang imong paglaom is the one that gives you the motivation pagdasig ka nimo to reach spiritual maturity. Now, kung bahay ni ganig biblical hope, ang buti masabot nini is the anticipation of a guarantee of sure certainty. Because this potential, by the way, is that kini ang butang that's already in you or the one you already have. But that potential still needs to be converted into hope. How? On sound. By applying your positive volition to that potential. Positive volition. Uh, positibong kabubuton in growing up spiritually. 
Now this is equal to spiritual growth. Therefore, it still needs to grow up spiritually. See? No, so it needs spiritual growth for the purpose of making or converting that potential ngadto sa hope. And then more spiritual growth, more spiritual growth, so that the hope can be transformed or converted to your maturity or at this point called reality. Correct? That is the reality. Mauna na ang katinuuran o sa tinagalog pa ang katutuhanan. Diba? However, on the other hand, sa diha nga kung sa ka magtutuo, wa mo gamit o dili mo gamit sa iyang positibo nga kabubuton sa iyang, I mean, his volition. In other words, he is what? He is negative. He is negative in his spiritual life. Then, what happens to his potential? So, I may tabo. His potential will just remain as is. As potential. See? Mahimo lang kaya po nga puruhan. Again, that potential will just remain in its status quo. Potential only. It therefore means there is no what? There is no reality. Therefore, there is no hope. Correct? So therefore, kung ang usa ka di magtutuo, dili mo gamit, dili mo apply sa positive pole of his volition towards the potential of salvation, that potential, dili yun mabalhin ng tus maglaong. That potential cannot therefore be converted or changed or transformed into hope. It cannot be. That potential, paminaw, kanang maong puruhan will just remain to be a puruhan potential without reality. Therefore, no what? No hope. Wala. So that is the potential of salvation. Therefore, when an unbeliever hears the gospel, uh, the gospel message of to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and does not use his positive volition to that divine message, ang paglaom or reality of being saved cannot be true or real to that unbeliever. Now, do you know what I'm saying here? Namao na. Boy, no. Because that unbeliever does not believe the reality, the truth of that gospel message, then he uses his negative volition to it. Thus, he does not believe it. Ergo, he cannot be saved. Gusto? Now, I want you to concentrate on this. May nung ramon pagayo kini. On the other hand, Should that unbeliever changes his mind, metanoeo, matulbas sa Griego, that is the biblical definition of repentance. Ano na yung kang makatagbo nining pulong a repentance? Repent. Ang Griego ng pulong is metanoeo. Now, should he come to his right senses and realizes his need of salvation, genuine salvation from God, then, He would eventually use his positive volition towards the gospel message of Acts 16.31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And finally, he believes or puts his trust on the Lord Jesus Christ. Then, what happens? The potential is instantaneously transformed or converted to reality or hope. Kasabot ka. Now that person is instantaneously saved, delivered from the wrath of God. Giiwai na siya, palingkawas na siya sa kalagot sa Dios. Now, what's the biblical principle on this? Well, nakatagbo na kanini. Once saved, always what? 
always saved. No. That is how God designed it. Dicen niyo ka na sa Dios. And that is the process. So therefore, we can clearly see here the big difference between potential and hope. Right? Now, balik ta. Nga tos mga himplo sa power of faith. Gahom sa pagtuo. The power of faith in, is this process. From potential number one to hope number two. And then number three is reality. Okay? Nakasunod ka ba? No, sundan eh. Again, number one, potential. Number two, hope. Number three, reality. Mauni ang mga ang-ang. These are the three stages. Paminaw. Ang Diyos ay pinagis ang pulong. Nagapadayang ka na to, That all things in this world were created or made out of things unseen or cannot be seen. Now, ang illustration din eh is that substance is made by things which are not seen. Now, what is the smallest particle of a substance or matter? Atom, right? The same thing to faith. Okay? Once you have faith, you are putting your faith in something which are not seen. Di makita. Kay di man makita, then the synonym is abstract. Correct? So faith, Pistis in Greek. This faith that you have, ibong ibutang, you're putting that faith into uh, something that you cannot see by your naked eyes. So therefore, faith is the opposite of empiricism. Correct? Now, to reverse concentrate, to not recall, unsa to empiricism? Well, if you remember it right, empiricism is one of the three major means of human perception. Basta? Empirical perception is used by means of what we see, what we hear, what we smell, what we taste, and what we want, what we touch. Now, Pabina. Empiricism is human viewpoint. Using the five senses of man. So this is where empiricism is dependent upon. It is dependent upon what we hear, see, smell, taste, and touch. Gusto? Mao ni ang gi saligan sa katawhan nga panglantao. This is where empiricism is dependent upon. Okay? That's why majority of the people of today do stand on that human viewpoint thinking of to see is to what? To believe. That was what Thomas, one of the twelve, used. And this I can see the scar of our Lord's wounds on his hands and the scar of the wounds on his side. I don't believe it. To see is to believe. Now, listen to this very well. That principle of to see is to believe based on the empirical perception is the opposite of faith. Nga naman. Nga naman yung wala naman. Why is empiricism the opposite of faith? Why? You know why? Nga nga empiricism is the opposite of faith. Tubag. Empiricism is the opposite of faith because in faith, You are putting that faith or trust on the things which are unseen or cannot be seen. In other words, you are putting your faith on the abstract. Na sabtan ba mo na? Do you understand it? Na, maglaro ita din he. Maglaro ita ini pag Because there are so many people today who are victims to this enormous malady going around this globe. They are victims of the malady of unbelief to the truth. Do you know why? 
Iba ko mang ano? Because they are blinded by Satan through his ace trump. Iyang lugot, iyang trap, nga mao ang relihiyon. Kita ni mo? So again, even if you do not see, because it's abstract, those things through your naked eyes, still, you put your faith on them. Matulpas tinagalog, naniniwala ka pa rin sa mga bagay na yon. Managingo nila. Ito, huwag ihapong kabisan. Ano yan ang mga butanga? And listen, pamina, that is what God is asking from His people, from His children. From His children, God is asking their faith. Now, open your mind to this. Okay? You have faith. All right. Now, even if you have that faith and there is no Uh, in other words, there is no strong foundation to that faith. That won't work. So, what enables it to work? What enables it to stand on its own feet? Now, if you just depend on your own talent or ability, Imong ka gwapo, imong ka smart, this kind of faith won't work. Dili. That kind of faith will easily collapse. Matumbara gina. Because if you just depend sa imong abilidad, sa imong kamayang laki, imong pagduha-duha, your doubts, imong pagpanuko, di magsilbi. Dili magsilbi ni. So, di nila muna kita kutom sa itong paghisgot ba hindi ini. So, padayon lang. Just keep on keeping on. Pag uh, sunod din nga itong adlaw-adlaw nga pagtuon sa pulong sa Diyos through the ministry. Salamat sa imong pagpakiguban o inahot nga kini nga itong gitunan. May imong dugang sa itong uh, kaalam sa pulong sa Diyos, may muunta kining panalangin sa itong kinabuhay. Magampot na salamat o Diyos nining tanang grasya, mong ipay muslan, na huwag nga kini himuon uh, himu nga pagdasig ka na mo sa among pagtuon sa among pulong, pagkabot kayo sa among tumong ng maong espirituan o pagkahamtong. Thank you for the Bible study that we have through the Vic Malbido Evangelistic Ministry. Gamita lamang kini maong ministry in a mighty way uh, agad sa imong kabuton. Kining tanan among ipasalamatan sa ngalan ni Ginoong Iso Kristo. Amen.